you can see I've already set up a sequence with two videos in the timeline, so let's add a transition. First open the project panel, then click on this new item button and select adjustment layer. Make sure it matches your sequence settings, in my case it's in 1920 by 1080 30 frames per second. Click OK, then drag this adjustment layer one track above the videos like this, then open effects panel, search for offset, add this effect to the adjustment layer, then search for Gaussian blur. Also add it to the adjustment layer. Then move the time indicator at the point of the cut between the videos and move 5 frames to the left. You can do that using the arrow keys 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then make sure adjustment layer is highlighted. Then head over to the effect controls panel. And here create a keyframe in the shift center tool by clicking the stopwatch. And also in the blurriness by clicking the stopwatch both at default values. Go back to the point of the cut, then move 5 frames to the right this time, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And here, based on the direction that you want the transition to go, you have to play around with the values. In my case, I want the transition to go to the left, so I'm going to decrease the first value in the shift center to. So as I start decreasing it, you can see we're getting one full cycle. And as you get closer, make sure you precisely align it so you don't have any gaps. In my case, it should be negative 960. Also, create a keyframe in the blurriness by clicking this add remove keyframe and this will give us uh, one full cycle. Then move back to the point of the cut between the videos and again based on the direction of the transition, set blur dimensions either to horizontal or vertical. In my case, the transition is going to the left so that will be horizontal. I'm going to select horizontal and then increase the blurriness as you see fit. I'm going to set mine to 200. That should be good enough. Then I'm going to zoom into the keyframe so I can better focus on them. I'm going to drag and select them all, right click any of them, go into temporal interpolation and select bezier. That'll ease the keyframes. After that, I'm going to expand this arrow next to the shift center to. I'll pull this one down to better focus on the keyframes. I'll click away, then select the first keyframe to the left. Then you'll see these blue handles, the tiny ones. I'm going to drag the first one to the bottom all the way, then pull it to the right. Not all the way, just make sure you leave some space between the handle and the time indicator. And do the same with the second keyframe. Pull it down and then to the left. And make sure that both sides are somewhat even. So you're creating this peak in the middle. And now if we preview the animation or the transition, we should get a very, very nice whip hand transition. And in case if you want the transition to be more dramatic and more snappy, you can always move the time indicator to the point of the cut again. And move these handles more inwards so like that. Pull them in. And again, make sure that both sides are somewhat even. So here we have a more dramatic peak in the middle and the transition should be a lot faster. And once you create the animation, you can trim the adjustment layer down so you can duplicate it for multiple transitions in your sequence. And that's how you create a whip hand transition in Premiere Pro. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.